Thank you so much, John. I that was me. I'm just okay. everyone's questions. Sorry. Uh, I've got a follow-up on today's bilat and then a Russia-China question. Um, first of all, uh, can the two leaders reconcile their different approaches on the war on drugs? I'm sorry, can, we... can the two leaders reconcile their different approaches on the war on drugs in today's bilateral? And can you tell us a little bit about how they might go about doing that? And then you said earlier that we're not afraid to take action should the Maduro regime fail to negotiate in good faith. Can you tell us what actions you might take? All I'll tell you is that we'll continue to hold uh, any actor that engages in corruption, uh, violates U.S. laws, uh, abuses human rights in, Venez in Venezuela, we're going to hold them accountable. But I don't have a, uh, I wouldn't give you a, a specific list there. And as for uh, 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 the, you called it the war on drugs, this effort to go after uh, drug trafficking, I mean, uh, both President Petro uh, and President Biden uh, uh, agree it's an issue. Uh, agree it's a challenge, and um, they're looking forward to having that discussion today. I fully expect um, that climate, drugs, and certainly migration will be three big topics that they talk about today. And then on Russia and China, the two militaries just recently um, said that they were going to strengthen strategic cooperation, and we're seeing reports that China is expanding its nuclear weapons arsenal with help from Russia. Um, so, is the U.S. concerned about these increasing ties between these two countries, and will the U.S. respond by expanding its own nuclear arsenal? I'm not going to talk about uh, the nuclear arsenal one way or the other here today. Uh, we're very comfortable and confident um, that uh, we can continue to protect and defend uh, our national security across a range of capabilities. Uh, and you can look at the defense budget and see for yourself that nuclear modernization is something we're heavily invested in, and we know we got to continue to work on that. Uh, as for their relationship, we've spoken about this before, too. Uh, uh, that these are uh, obviously uh, uh, two countries that um, uh, share opposite values th th than the United States and our partners and allies do in terms of uh, the international order, uh, in terms of peace and stability around the world. Uh, they want to challenge that order. They want to undermine that order. They want to rewrite the rules for themselves. Uh, and uh, as the President has said, we, we've got to consider this a strategic competition, and it's a competition that we can win. Uh, 